Okay, now we have Miss Babka down here for our week two video recap. Somebody is ready to go. Okay, Missy, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I know, hello. Get your toy. Get your toy, you're so excited. Good girl. Very good girl. I see you. Whoa, don't get tangled. There you go. There you go. Get this. No jumping. There, perfect. Wow. There's a good puppy. Get it, get it, get it. Nice. Nice job, Babka. Yeah. Uh-oh. Where is it? Where is it? No, you're jumping on me. There we go. Good girl. Perfect. Babka's got a lot of energy this morning, so I'm just trying to redirect that to the toy. Oh my goodness. Roo, roo, roo. Yeah. Don't jump on me. Get your toy. Look it. Nice. So close. Ready? Oh my goodness. What do you want? There you go. You don't know what you want because you're a baby puppy. <gasps> yeah, there we go. That's fun. Get it, get it, get it. Nice job, Babka. Good girl. See my insistence on her playing with the toy and not jumping all over me. Good girl. Perfect. That's a sweet puppy. Oh, you got it. You got it. Are you a tough girl? Yeah. Good job. Uh-oh. Nice. All right. Do you see why play is important? Right? Right out of the gate, Bob, because like, oh my God, I have so much energy. And I'm like, that's fine. You're a baby. But you got to do that on the toy, not all over me. Right? Good girl. It's kind of cute. Like, don't get me wrong. It's kind of cute right now at this age. But it won't be so cute when your dog's like a year, two years old, and they're still doing the same thing. So, you know, that's why we address these things now when they're this little. We don't wait until they're already a socially mature adult and we're letting them do the same things that they did as a baby puppy. Good girl! Right, so she learned that jumping all over me really didn't get her much. But now that we're playing with the toy, yeah, that's so much fun. It's so much fun. And now give you little pets. Yeah, because you got that toy in your mouth. And I know you're not going to bite me if you got the toy in your mouth. Good girl. Oh, you lost it. Ooh, you smell food, I think. All right, so let's get started here. Let's move on. We're going to um, start like we did last week. And I'm going to wait till she's got four feet on the ground, too. Good, and then I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna give her that first treat. She's like crazed for the food, so I'm just gonna hold it still. There we go, and let her figure it out. Good girl, Babka, yeah. Perfect. Good job. So we just charged the clicker a couple times, just like last week. And we're gonna move right into following a food lure. Okay, so we're gonna try to get these puppies to walk a little further with us this week. Good. Good girl. Okay. So backwards and then forwards. Nice, Babka. And I'm also not releasing the cookie in my hand until she's got all her feet on the ground. So I'm trying to click when all her feet are on the ground and I'm not feeding her until all her feet are on the ground. Get it. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's do a little turn. Good girl. Perfect. Good job. Okay, you want to do it this way? That's a happy puppy. That's a happy puppy. Good girl. Perfect. All right, let's uh, do some hand targets. Bob could touch. Nice. Good girl. 
touch. Good job, puppy. One more of those. Babka, touch. She's very handsy. Right? So I'm trying to wait until her feet are on the ground before I release that cookie. Yeah, you smart. Go get it. Let's do some sits. Okay, Babka, sit. Smart, good girl. You know these boys are slippery, get it. It's hard for them to like hold the sit while they're eating their treat because their butts are moving out from underneath them. Okay, come here. Babka, sit. Good girl. Very good girl. Good job. Okay, get it. All right, and then we learned a new position this week for week two. We're gonna practice our downs. Good girl. Uh-oh. Good girl. Get it. Nice. Okay, we're going to do that two more times. Beautiful, look at that. Uh-oh. There we go, good. Perfect dog, get it. Let's do one more down. It's so hard to be still. Yeah, sit. Good, down. Perfect. What a good puppy. What a good girl. Where's your toy? Get that toy. Yeah, I know. We're going to take a break. Right? Okay, so we reviewed everything we started with last week and we added the down position for week two. Now I'm going to try to be insistent that she get back on the toy even just for a minute. Where is it? You almost had it. There you go. Good girl. Good girl, Bobka. Because you also see when I first put the food and the clicker down and I pulled out the toy, she wanted to whoop at me. She wanted to tell me what she felt about the fact that we were taking a break from the food for a second. And there she goes again. Again, it's comical. It's kind of funny. It's pretty cute. But I'm not going to give in to it. Right? I'm not going to just pick that food back up because then I'm teaching her that that works. Right? And I'm saying right now, hey, let's play for a minute. Don't bite my sock either, a little turkey. <laughs> Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, yay! Yay! Oh, good girl. There we go. Can you see that? Now she's back on her toy. Good girl, Bobka. Good girl. Yes, you're so cute. Good girl. Uh -huh. You strong? You strong puppy? You got it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Perfect dog. Oh, you get it. Nice. Good dog. All right, so we're gonna move on now. We're gonna go to the next step in our mat. Step two. Can, you, can I have that? What do you think? Yeah, thank you. Very good girl. I can give her a cookie for making a trade for me. Uh, let's see, let's get my clicker. So this week, last week with the mat, 
you just wanted the puppies to be on it. This week I want them to be in the down on the mat. So we just practiced down. Let's see if Bobka can figure it out. Wow, you've got a lot of energy, huh? Good girl. So we give the puppy a few seconds to see if they can figure it out. If they can't, then we help them. So there's a nice sit, but I want her all the way down. Yeah, you're crazy. Good girl. You're quite today. Okay. Good. There we go. That's good. Okay. Okay, let's move our mat. Where is it? I'm giving her just a little bit to think about what she's got to do. I want her to at least like be still. There, there was a nice sit. I could have captured that. I was looking at the camera. <laughs> Good. So when she sits, then I'm going to come in with that food hand and help her down into the down position. Good job. Here's one. Good girl. Very good. Okay, get it. Okay, let's move the mat one more time. Where is it? Where's your mat, Bubka? Good girl. She found that sit a lot faster. Good job. So I'm just paying her cookie after cookie for just holding still. Yeah. Okay, get it. Very nice. That was a good puppy. All right, so that's step two in the mat is the puppies finding it down and kind of holding it for a little bit. It'll be even better at that next week. The other thing that we added for week two is teaching the puppies to go into the crate kennel when we ask them. I think they're all doing really well with this. Good. So they've all been sleeping in their crates at night. Bobka, okay. But we also want to teach them, hey, if I ask you to go into your crate at any time, kennel, they're happy to run right in there for us. I never pick up a dog and put them in their crate. I teach my dogs to go into their crate on their own. I think it's a very important skill. Okay, get it. And I also tell them when they can come out, even if the door is open. Kennel! But as you can see with Bobka, if you do this right, dog wants to be in their crate. What a very good puppy. What a very good puppy. Okay. Perfect. All right. Get that little break. And we're going to get her harness on. Very teeny tiny harness. Is our video still rolling? Were you the wiggle worm last week? You want to go back in your kennel, huh? Good girl. I feel like someone was wiggly getting their harness on, and I think maybe it was her. Yeah, you want to give me kisses, huh? Thank you. All right, we got our straps on. Little clip. Perfect. Okay, let's do another exercise. We call this the flying cookie game with her harness on. Ready? Get it. Babka. Yes, good girl. Right there. Good girl, get it. Bobka! Yeah, good girl! Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah. Get it. Bobka! Very nice puppy. Get it. Bobka! Beautiful! So this game is teaching her what her name is. It's also teaching her to respond or come when her name is called. Get it. Bobka. Wow. 
Oh, look at that speed. Let's do one more. Get it. Babka. Yeah, good girl. All right, we've got one more thing to do, and that's our handling exercises. So we're going to review the stuff that we did last week, just like everything else. What do I got? Huh? I know. So first, some restraint. Good girl. Get it. So I'm feeding her, taking my hand away. If she's holding still, I'm coming back in with another cookie. Good job, puppy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Stillness is a skill that needs to be taught, especially in baby puppies. Oh, are my pants interesting? Okay, and then from there, we're going to go through different body parts, so her ears. Yes. Feet. Yes. Yes. Tail. Yes. Great. Get it. Oh, that one went far. All right, we've got one more thing. So new for this week for our handling exercises, we're going to practice bringing a grooming tool towards our puppy and touching them with it. These are human nail clippers. Uh, very quickly, these are not going to be able to work with the puppies. Right now we can get away with it because they're teeny tiny and their nails are small and soft. Uh, but they're going to get hard and you're going to need dog nail clippers. I do have a products page on my website if you want to check it out with um, different types of products that I recommend. All sorts of different dog products. Um, yes, good girl. But this exercise is not about cutting their nails. It's more about just bringing the grooming tool towards them. Sit. Good girl. Yes. So you can see I'm picking up her foot and then touching her with the nail clippers. Sit. Yes, good girl. Perfect. Back feet. Yes. Yes. So this exercise is more about if I have to bring something towards you and touch you with it, it's not scary. It's okay, and you're going to get a cookie for it. Go get it. All right, and that's it. So make sure you check out the video library, especially for the handling stuff for week two. You know, go through different couple types of grooming tools. It's basically the same concept for all of them. Good girl, you did it. And we will see you next week. Nice job, Bobka.